What's going on guys? This is Ozzy Van Man. How y'all doing today? We are back at it. We are back here in Williams, Arizona, part of our Route 66 and travel series. We're here to in-depth explore what Williams has to offer and there's a rich, rich history out here, not just with the Route 66, what the town did for Arizona in general. Clearly they, we have a railway that would go through here that would feed into Flagstaff and up to the Grand Canyon, but that's not all. There's a whole bunch of other history as well. Where are we? Well, I'll get out of the van and show you guys. Okay, so we are actually outside the uh, Williams Arizona Visitor Center. I have a whole bunch of cool uh, Route 66 info here. In fact, right here there's a plaque that tells you all about Route 66. Let's have a look at that. So, here's the plaque. That's the downtown Williams area. We have here, Route 66 was commissioned on November 11th, 1926 by the newly formed Highway Department. It would be the main east-west highway travel cross country from Chicago to Los Angeles. By 1938, the entire stretch of Route 66 across Arizona had been paved. Then in 1956, President Eisenhower enacted the Federal Aid Highway Act to construct a network of high-speed interstate highways. On October 13, 1984, Williams was the last town to be bypassed by the new interstate as the last section of the I-40 opened for high-speed travel. The impact was immediately felt by the local businesses and travelers drove right past Williams on the new interstate. Building the interstate killed a lot of towns that relied on the uh, Route 66, unfortunately. But Williams is still here and it's still a tourist town. Now that uh, Route 66 heritage is revitalized and people want to come and travel the old Route 66, small towns like this had a chance to uh, rebuild again. Look at this uh, Route 66 uh, bench, guys. This is really cool. It's got the Route 66 plaque on either side. Now this visitor center here actually looks like it's a part of a train station. We are in that area here. This is all the train stations and stuff here. You can see these old outbuildings from the train stations. They've been repurposed as well. Yeah, you can see the old doors. This was definitely yeah, you can see the old doors. Was, this is definitely something to do with the train station back in the day. In fact, it may have been the old original train station. I wonder if they have any info on the walls here. So we have the Kaibab National Forest info here. Welcome to Williams. Founded in 1881. This goes on about the Bill Williams, the Bill Williams Trapper. We have a little notice board over here. And there's even a little fee station here. You can buy vehicle passes to National Park. So I guess you could buy it for the Grand Canyon right here without having to <clears throat> go up to the uh, gate and buy one. Very cool, guys. All right, all right, let's head on in. some spearheads and some arrowheads over here. And it looks like it's made out of onyx over there. And there's a picture of the Grand Canyon train 1901. Uh, and here we have the Williams Harvey Girls, 1938. This is what they would have been wearing right here. This is one of the more well-preserved Singer sewing machines I've seen. It's fully stocked with thread and needle and everything. There's some old ice skates up the top here. This is interesting. <clears throat> so this girl's dressed up apparently. There's some campfire girls. I don't really know what that is. Started in Williams, apparently, in 1923. Here we have this mannequin wearing an old United States Forest Service. That's what they would have been wearing back in the day. They didn't have their um, 
flame jackets and all the stuff that was more protective for them. And there's some of the tools they would be using out there. Look at the size of this chainsaw. That thing would have taken a lot of effort. It's definitely got to be at least a two-man chainsaw. This old uh, car jack right here. And a little map of Williams, Arizona, up to the Grand Canyon. So this is cool, guys. You can actually see a model built on downtown Williams from, from 1959 era. You can see what it would have looked like while Route 66 was still hustling and bustling. So I'm not going to show you everything in here. You guys should come see it. But they have in the visitor center here this cool little museum uh, full of Williams history in here. So very, very cool. If you're stopping by the visitor center, please come back and check out the museum. This uh, visitor center too, it's one of the more well-decorated ones I've seen around. So very, very cool. And <laughs> check these guys out the back there. All these uh, mountain men with the, uh, we got a uh, Smokey the Bear right here. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right guys, so let's go back into the uh, uh, visitor center, see if we can pick up some uh, gifts and maybe some little uh, pieces to uh, show us around the town. I already have done my research, but you never know. Going in, checking out, you might find something you never thought of or seen before. So we'll have a look around. They have these little coloring in bears with Route 66 on them. That's quite cool. Okay, we have some Route 66 has hats. I've been wanting to get one of these. So I may have to walk out with one today, I'm thinking. Okay, so this is cool. They have uh, some DVDs on the Grand Canyon Railway Adventure. Or exploring the Route 66 right in here. And this one comes with a book up the top. Alright, check this out guys. Check out the pins and coins collection. Look at these state ones with the Smokey the Bear. Oh my lord. I don't know if they still do those, but I need to get those. Those things are amazing. They got all these challenge coins in here as well. Oh my lord, there's so much. It's really cool. Really cool, guys. We have our own Smokey the Bear in here. How cool is that? Kaibab National Forest display here with all the collectibles in here. Wow, they have a really cool collection over here. Or you could get your picture as a mountain man or a raccoon. <laughs> yes. Oh, no way. We've got an old stop, stoplight from around 66 are hanging up here. That's cool. Very cool display here. We've got a map here. Oh, with all the information, we got an old telephone, also from back in the days. And then over here, we have um, some more information along here. Experience Williams Gateway to the Grand Canyon, a little artistic map here. And then we have a freight scale from the old train station here. But I am going to get my trinkets. We've got Smokey the Bear Patch. That's cool. All right, guys, got my uh, Route 66 goodies. I'm gonna throw them in a the van, and then I'm getting a little hungry. I can smell delicious smells coming from one of the cafes that I wanted to go to. So it's just up the road. We're gonna walk up there. Why not? Need to walk off some of them calories. So let's head on over and check it out. Alright uh, guys, as you can see here, we have a nice little mural painted up about the uh, last town bypassed by I-40, October 1984. So we're outside the Circle K here. Behind me you can see historic main town. See all the old restored old buildings. Very cool. They're all full of really cool souvenir shops and uh, cafes and stuff. But we are not going there right now. We are going this way. Right over here, we are going to Cruises Cafe. That's right. With the big old hot rod of the Coca-Cola sign on the top of the roof there. That is where we are headed, guys. 
Check this out, guys. Parked out front, we have this military Humvee. We got a Willys Jeep over here. We have an indoor shooter experience over here, right next to the cafe. That's pretty wild. And this is the cafe that we're gonna go into. Right here, the old neon signs up on there and out front. head on in so this part of the cafe actually used to be a telegraph office it's really cool that they have the clock on the wall but it's now part of the uh, cruisers cafe which is also next door as well and here you can see they have the fire the smoker fired up getting some meats in there have a bit of a signage out the front what to expect they even got this old Coke machine right outside here. It's very cool, all the artwork and memorabilia they have everywhere. Okay, so it actually doesn't open for another 25 minutes, so we're gonna have to wait, guys. Let's check out, let's check out some other stores now. Well, it looks like the Cruiser's gift store is open, so let's go check that out while we're waiting. Mm. This is very cool, guys. Check out all the uh, Coca-Cola products they have here, including napkin dispensers and straw holders. Very, very cool. Got the old Burma Shave sign amongst others. Look at the size of all those. Some big, big signs. So next door, there's an entire other section full of t-shirts and other memorabilia. This is wild, guys. All right, guys, I'm out the front now. It's starting to rain out here, actually. There wasn't any rain forecast for today, but here we are. So hopefully it'll stop soon so I can sit outside. I really want to sit outside and eat today. All right, guys, so we just got seated. We are sitting outside right under the, uh, oh, right by the hot rod there. Uh, this would have been an old gas station pull through this so you can see the old gas pump sitting here. Very cool, very cool. I had to sit outside. I love sitting outside. We don't get to do it much in Phoenix because it's so damn hot. Alright, let's check the menu out there. Even the menu looks cool, guys. Look at that, guys. Let me open it up. Oh, yeah. There's some things to get excited about. Look at the fries covered in chili. Love it, love it. Green chili burger, smoked longhorn burger, chili mac, oh my lord, prime cuts, all the cool stuff here, black angus, on the back we have ribs, chicken, all sorts of desserts, banana split guys, ooh, I am very excited, very, very excited, so uh, goodbye diet for the weekend because Cruiser's Cafe is about to destroy my diet. Okay, so I was eyeing off the beef ribs, but I didn't want to overdo it today because I still got to walk around town all day and sightsee. So, so I chose to go for a burger, although I did get one of the bigger burgers that they have. It's a half pound Angus patty with, and it's topped with smoked brisket. So, it still may be a struggle, but I'm uh, pretty excited about it. So, we're gonna hook in when it comes out. Okay, guys, check this out. Check all of that out. We got brisket on the top, we got coleslaw in there. Big old patty, french fries, yum. Oh yeah, they're good. It's just one problem, guys. I have no idea. I'm gonna eat this. I definitely am picking that up and putting it in my mouth. This is way too big. I have to dismantle it and eat it that way. Ooh. 
I was uh, so full from that, I couldn't eat any dessert whatsoever. As much as I wanted that banana split, I have no room left whatsoever. But right here in front, I want to show you something very special. We are at world famous Sultana Bar. This is one of the original saloons here in Williams, Arizona. Back in the Prohibition days, down under the uh, floorboards, they used to uh, smuggle um, alcohol, apparently. So that's kind of cool. Here we have another big original Route 66 sign here and an original old motel here. What is this place? The Arizona Motor Hotel. And apparently they have TV. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Look at this little uh, display that they've got out front here. Let's go and take a look at that. That looks pretty cool. that little uh, big boy statue here. Very cool. We have this uh, transmission artwork here. Some man stuck in the back. We have these old cars here. Look like some uh, Model A's or something by the looks of it. Check this car out guys. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> That's cool. This is cool. We've got the Dairy Queen here, but as you can see, we've got the uh, big old Dairy Queen sign there. Very, very cool. Okay, so I'm just walking on my way to the uh, Route 66 uh, Museum and Gift Shop. Right across the road from it, pretty much, is uh, this place called Frontier Family Fun. They have live music, a big outdoor area. They're pet friendly. It's very, very fancy looking. I like it. It's a big outdoor area. They do barbecue and live music. Might have to come back and check that out sometime. But what I came looking for is the Route 66 Museum and Gift Shop. And here it is, guys. There it is, guys. Let's head on over. Look at the big elk statue out the front. First thing you see when you come along. We got some old trucks and cars here. It's like, I don't know, Model A truck there, maybe. Ever since this one's decked out like it's from the Cars movie or something. So, some sort of Chevrolet there. Yeah. Very cool. And then over here we have, I guess this is the uh, museum and gift store. So, I'm gonna have a little look around and head on in. Look at these gas stations. Um, these gas pumps. These gas pumps have been fully restored. They look like they're brand new. That's really cool, guys. This truck's so shiny, it looked like it just rolled off the factory floor. That's pretty amazing. Look at all the uh, neon signs they have up here. I'd love to have something like that up in my van, but I don't think I got room for it. These crystal bundles look really cool. Look at this little uh, outdoor bench that's made out of coil springs and a tailgate off of an old Ford truck. Very cool. What do you think, guys? Do you think I'd look good in one of these? Could you see me in a Route 66 Hawaiian shirt? Tell me, guys. Look at the size of this amethyst geode thing. That is outrageous. I wouldn't want to see how much that thing would cost to buy. Check out these old original signs here. We have this restored gas pump here it stands probably like nine feet tall all right guys so that's it for the museum i think the museum section is out here and the outside and the inside is a gift shop but it is an original route 66 um, gas station so very cool to come see i would recommend coming by they have all sorts of route 66 memorabilia inside there's a certain sign I seen somewhere that I really wanted and I didn't have the exact one I wanted. 
So we're gonna keep looking. There are some plenty of other stores selling this stuff. So I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. Now we're walking past the Motel 6 here down historic Main Street. Check out the cool little sign that they put up out here. Route 66 with the license plates along it. That's actually part of the handrail there. It's pretty cool. Okay, as you guys can see, you can see the uh, train going through there. Later on, you might see the Grand Canyon train coming back. Flavors of saltwater taffy inside, oh, and oh, over a hundred kinds of hot sauce. <laughs> All right. All right. So we just stopped off at Colors of the West shop. Got myself a really cool, unique copper Williams Route 66 coin, which I was looking for. I didn't think I'd ever find one, and we got one right here. They have so many cool things and reasonable prices. So I would highly recommend checking out Colors of the West. Right now, I am looking for Addicted Route 66 shop though, so we have to find that somewhere. Okay guys, I found it, I found it. It's across the road, let's head over there. Look at this uh, bench right here, that's cool. It's the uh, trunk off of an old hot rod or something. We've got these fenders here at the entrance. guys so they didn't have the sign that i was looking for in there they did have some cool stuff but not exactly what i was looking for we're gonna look around the shops a little bit more and uh see if we can find that sign okay we've come back around to the uh, pete's gas station museum so i think while we're here we're gonna have to go in and have a look at that and who knows they might have the sign that i'm looking for guys here we go pete's station Pete's Gas Station Museum. Let's go on in. Check this out. Look at these old oil cans. That's amazing. And the gas pumps are all original. Nice and toasty from the Arizona sun. Wow. This is quite a collection. Look at the big old Coca-Cola cap over there. The old register down here. Uh, I'm not fully sure if these are oil pumps or grease pumps, I'm not sure. But all the old fan belts up here, we have the really old tires that they used to use back in the day. Oh, there's even an old Conoco uniform here. Overalls, that's amazing. Gumball machine over in the corner, lifesavers rack. This place is amazing. They have new old stock in here. Dang, this is a cool museum, guys. All right, guys, so we finally left that store. I uh, got, got myself a t-shirt, it was pretty cool. Uh, kind of got stuck talking to the owner of the shop. He's uh, quite chatty, telling me about his old truck driving days. So I was in there for a good hour. Nice guy. Um, yeah, so stop on by there. Now we're gonna, I think we're gonna put the stuff in the car here, so my little goodies, and then we'll see what, what else we can get into.
Okay guys, I'm back in my van. It's getting late in the afternoon. Uh, the Grand Canyon train has still not made it back yet. So uh, we're running out of time. Uh, it's gonna be close to six before it arrives. I don't really have time to wait for it now. So we have to move on out of town. We have still just barely scraped the surface of Williams, Arizona here on Route 66. Lots of cool things we've seen today and yesterday. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Still have some more stuff to do like the Grand Canyon Railroad. And we can go over the train station. There's actually an old steam engine sitting out the front. So we're gonna have to save that for another time, guys. Um, all right, guys, so that is it for this little trip to Williams, Arizona and our part of the Route 66. Maybe next time we'll move on to uh, Seligman or somewhere like that and drive along the Route 66 over there so you guys can get a good uh, glimpse of what that's like. All right, guys, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Tell me below, have you been to Route 66? What part of the Route 66 have you traveled? And what's your favorite adventure along the Route 66? Let me know below. Or if you have any interesting stories like that, let me know below, guys. All right, guys, until next time, this is Aussie Van Man, and we will see you later. What's going on here?